Dreams. An argument breakfast any at a night? By John, J.R. July 24th, 2020, 4 57 p.m. No, comments. Image source, Wikimedia Commons. I had a variety of short dreams that I woke up remembering, but I kept going back to sleep without recording them, and so now I can only barely remember part of several of those dreams. Dream 1. I am not sure if I was in this dream or not, maybe I was, and it took place in the city of D during the day at the end of the street that my uncle W.C. lives on. A woman with dark color skin was outside arguing with a male city worker who worked for the city of D, I am not sure what they were arguing about, but the woman was angry and she was yelling at him. It seemed that maybe she was angry about something involving the city worker and the city department that he worked for and something on or near her property involving something connected with his job. In the field where my dad used to keep his horses and cows was a fictional mobile home with a police car in front of it, the doors on the police car were open, and I wondered if the police could see or hear the argument, and that is all that I can remember of this dream. Dream 2 This dream took place in the city of D during the morning, I was riding in an automobile with my mom and some of my brothers, and my mom was driving. I wanted to go get some breakfast at maybe Wendy's and Slash or another fast food restaurant before it was too late, and that is all that I can remember of this dream. Dream 3 I was probably not in this dream, this dream was very short and confusing, and it involved a man with an insane plan to save humanity from extinction who wanted all the humans in the world to take something called an eatonite which he pronounced like on Adonite, that would likely kill off much of humanity especially those whose genes were not diverse enough. I am not sure if any Adonite was a drug or plant or drink or poison or what it was exactly, he possibly either discovered it or invented it, I do know that it was consumed in some kind of way, and that he wanted every human in the world to take it at least once. Maybe he thought that there were too many people in the world, especially those with less diverse genes, and he felt that humanity had a better chance of surviving if he could kill off most of the humans who would be less likely to survive a variety of threats slash disaster scenarios, I guess he did not want them spreading their genes, and he felt that the survivors would be more likely to have the genes required to help humanity survive extinction. He seemed to believe that having more diverse genes with good, in-between, and bad traits was the key to humanity being able to survive in the long run to prevent our species from going extinct. So he wanted to make a more diverse humanity immediately because he seemed to think that humanity would possibly not survive if this did not happen soon enough. He seemed to think that this would make humanity more adaptable, harder to control, and would allow us to be more likely to survive most threats that we may face as a species in the future whether the threat is, disasters, climate change, diseases, alien invasion, ourselves, etc. His hypothesis was that any atonite would likely only kill off humans whose genes were not diverse enough, and that humans whose genes were diverse enough would likely survive. I thought that his plan was insane, slash crazy, cruel, immoral, etc., but I woke up before the dream was finished. The End John, J.R. Share this.